Okay, now let's talk about the ethylene biosynthesis pathway. Ethylene is a gaseous hormone. It's quite readily produced by plants. So this is ethylene, the final product that we need to produce. So obviously, like every single biosynthesis pathway, ethylene biosynthesis also needs a precursor. So the precursor for ethylene is methionine. Start with methionine amino acid. So this methionine is converted by SAM synthetase utilizing ATP to form S-adenosyl methionine. S-adenosyl methionine means SAM known as adomate. So methionine is converted to S-adenosyl methionine by SAM synthetase enzyme utilizing energy from ATP hydrolysis. Then this S-adenosyl methionine will be converted into two different forms. Then this S-adenosine methionine or adomate will be converted into two different forms. And both this form can be produced by the enzyme ACC synthase. Now the ACC synthase can convert this S-adenosine methionine into ACC amino cyclopropane carboxylate or it can also produce it into 5-methyl adenosine. So this ACC synthase is producing amino cyclopropane carboxylate known as ACC as well as 5-methyl adenosine. Now this amino cyclopropane carboxylate is converted into ethylene by ACC oxidase enzyme by taking oxygen and oxidizing amino cyclopropane carboxylate and by this process it produces carbon dioxide, HCN and water. While they produce this ethylene with this pathway. We got ethylene. But what about the 5-methyl adenosine? This 5-methyl adenosine will be converted into methionine via methionine cycle also known as the Yang cycle in order to recycle the methionine in order to carry out the process of ethylene biosynthesis.